So hello, I'm Gordon Love, I'm head of the instrumentation group at Durham University, so we do a lot of work on building, designing, commissioning instruments that fit on the UK's telescopes all around the world. Um, so I gave today an overview of astronomy uh, talk or overview of the applications of astronomy and uh, I covered many different areas but I tried to look at the topic from the, uh, from the big picture uh, kind of avenue. So I, I identified three different kind, kinds of application. Uh, there was the application of astron what I call astronomical science so these are the actual results that have come out of astronomy and these are applications that are developed over many uh, many years, tens of decades or even hundreds of years. So, uh, moving more recently up to date, I think there's a great example of, um, of fundamental science that has come out of astronomy being used in, uh, in, in other applications and I use the example of GPS, Global Position, Positioning Systems, uh, which basically work through very accurate timing of signals sent down from satellites, adaptive optics, which is all about imaging through the atmosphere, trying to produce high resolution images uh, of things in the uh, sky which are otherwise distorted by the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, many applications there, uh, vision science, uh, microscopy, uh, laser machining and so on. Uh, finally I talked about the cultural applications of astronomy and I was looking at a specific question that interests me uh, if I might put one of my hats on as a university teacher and that's why do students come to university to study physics it's important to note that they may then go on to do other things become engineers or become financial wizards or become teachers or whatever but the big draws that bring people into science are things like astronomy the big glamour areas, if you like, of science. They're very important for attracting the next generation of scientists to, uh, to study physics.